Welcome back to Hunter's Instinct. Uh, I'm going to meet Billy and uh, we're going to the project farm to put out some uh, mineral block and put out some more corn and uh, don't move a camera around and then probably the next couple weeks we'll move another camera around and uh, we'll have them both on the, the food plot so uh, next time you'll see us we'll be over at the project farm and uh, we'll show you about what's happening over there how the food pot's looking and all that so uh, stick with us and uh, we'll see you over there I'd say put this camera right over there, wouldn't you? Yeah. Let's see. That's looking good. I'll say we'll there. Yeah, be a good spot right here on the wood. What do you think we ought to lay them off up for a little bit longer? Well, what do you think? There's where I want to put it at, so I'm going to put it in here. So yeah, we'll, I'll get something, I'll dig out a bare spot to put it in there, and then we'll put that corn on top there, throw some over there. trim much out of here when we put that blind up there. You can oh. see pretty good down through here. Next year we're going to clear every bit of that out all the way to the road and come up on this side and clear out. And uh, we'll have us a pretty good plot in here. That's next year though, we gotta yeah. get through this year first. What do you think about it? Looking good. Yeah, I'm pleased with it. I like the way it's coming. Now if I can just get some sunshine instead of so much rain. Yeah, all right. We'll put that block up right there. And we'll put the uh, horn. There it is out, out through here. Put some over there where the block's at. Because they already used to it. Corn and stuff from being over yonder. <coughs> and then uh, maybe next time we come up, we'll move that cam one camera to right there on that poplar. I like to see how they're moving in here from morning to evening. There's some tracks right over here coming into the corner right there. I seen them. I left that one spot open. You see through where? Yeah. So maybe they can come through where. And then they've been coming 
right through where I left it open. So I kind of got that right there blocked a little bit. And kind of got this right here blocked. That way if they come down the road, they'll have to come down this way. And right down the four-wheel path there. So. Get a little water in here. Uh, I need a little water in there. Yeah, it's gonna take a minute. <laughs> That's a damn rock, eh? That's a good one. <coughs> See, people get confused. When uh, you want to feed your deer during the winter months and during the springtime months. When it turns spring, it's when you want to put mineral licks out and stuff like that. During your winter months, you want to put out something that's good for their body. That way the very next year, when you go to put out your mineral blocks, they'll have all everything that they need built up in their body already. You don't have to make up for nothing. And then you start putting out mineral supplements and uh, stuff like that for the racks and plus revise a little bit what they lost, but they ain't lose that much where you feed them during the winter months. And once you start feeding them, you got to keep it up all the way through winter because once you stop, then they'll start having to look for other food and then they'll lose everything that you have gave them what you did feed them trying to find more food during the winter i don't know if you want to call that a tip or what but that's the reason why i went with the food plot here and then other places we got to hunt we always put out uh, winter wheat or something like that, that way they ain't got to really go far for food and water and stuff like that, so. <clears throat> Just remember, start of spring, start putting your minerals out, start putting your food pots out, and when you put them out, put them out something that's going to last all year round, all season plot. And soybeans lasts a while, and uh, they can eat the leaves off of them now, it's high protein. And then when the beans comes on, they can eat the beans. And that'll keep them up too. So it's uh, protein, calcium, fat, all that stuff that they need. So that's a little tip that I like to go by and what I've been using to try to help these deer through the winters and spring, summer and fall. To get where we can actually maybe have a good chance of one of these big monsters. So we're gonna ride right up here and check on this other where I put the deer cane out, see how it's doing up there after we put the corn out, and then I guess we're gonna head out of here because it is hot. <laughs> Alright, now we'll go up here I guess. Oh, I think 
Might be very well thought. See, I got beans coming up here too. <laughs> And uh, I've got to mention something else too. If uh, you want to learn how to better manage your deer, go to uh, QDMA. And uh, Quality Deer Management Association, they will uh, take you on our step-by-step -step how to quality manage your uh, deer population and uh, tell you what you need during the winter and uh, fall, winter, and the spring and summer months to uh, keep your uh, deer healthy and keep a healthy herd and to uh, grow uh, bigger bucks and stuff. So I think that's about the only thing we're going to have for today. Please subscribe, like, and share. And uh, we're going to get out of this heat. <laughs>